Magandang buhay mga bata! I am Teacher Mary Karnik Dao. Come and join me as we study another lesson in math. Today's lesson is all about reading and writing fractions that are equal to 1 and greater than 1 in symbols and in words. Let's start our lesson with a story problem. Roy cuts two whole pizza into eight equal parts. He ate one-eighth and gave the rest to his three brothers. What part of the pizza was given to his brothers? Let's count the number of slices that were not eaten by Roy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There are fifteen more slices of pizzas that were not eaten. Therefore, his brother got one and seven eighths or fifteen eighths part of the pizza. A fraction greater than 1 or an improper fraction can be written in symbols and in words. The numerator is greater than the denominator. For example, 5 fourths can be written or spelled out this way. Let us try more examples. Given the illustration, what would be our fraction? Let's try to write it in symbol and in words. Let's count the number of colored parts in the illustration. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 colored parts in the illustration. The symbol of fraction is 11 sixth. Where did we get sixth? Because in one whole, there are six parts. In words, we write it this way. We spell out 11 and your denominator, we follow or write it through ordinal number. Then add S. Let's try another example. Again, count first all the colored parts. We can skip count this illustration. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So your numerator is 15. Since there are only 9 parts in one whole, your denominator is 9. We can write this fraction in words as 15 ninths. How about this example? Again, let's start counting the colored parts. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. Your numerator is 21. Our denominator is 15 because there are 15 parts in one whole. In words, we write it as 21 fifteenths. Another, help me count all the colored parts. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 25, 
26, 27. Our numerator is 27. For our denominator, since there are only 16 parts in a whole, we write 16. Then in words, we write this fraction as 27 sixteenths. This time, let's check if you really understand our lesson. Let's try to practice some activities. What is the fraction of the given illustration in symbol and in words? Very good. It's 14 fourths. In words, we spell out this way. Let's try another. What is the fraction in symbol and in words? Very good. It's five halves and we write it this way. Let's try some more. What is the fraction of the illustration in symbol and in words? Very good. It's 15 sixth. In words, we spell out this way. How about for this illustration? We write its fraction in symbol and words as 17 tenths and spell it out this way. What about for our last illustration? Very good. It's 9 fourths and in the words we spell it out as 9 Fourths. I hope you learn and enjoy our lesson for today. Thank you for watching, kids.